Stars World all the way from uh, Vara in Peru and I'm here with Carol Ribu, the co-founder and CEO of Bus Portal. Nice to meet you. Oh, this is so hard. <laughs> Carol, he's here. Uh, all right, now I'm going to ask the founder. Uh, how did you sure. get, how did you get to uh, how did you get to <coughs> Peru? But, so where are you from? So you're from France, right? Uh, yes, I'm from France. Yeah. And how, how did you get to Peru? Uh, I ended up a master in Barcelona and I decided to do an MBA in Peru to catch a few waves and then see if I could improve my, uh, my skills in business. And uh, after a few weeks in Peru, I decided I would love to travel uh, to surf in northern Peru and uh, going to the terminal to find the right bus ticket. It roughly took me about two hours to, to find the right price and I decided I will just uh, uh, create this, 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 this business, no? So you found a real problem? Just problem Founded right? a problem and then I decided it will be convenient to solve it. How many years have you been doing that? Uh, probably about uh, three and a half year. You, you stop counting at some point. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's definitely easier right now than it used to be because it's a really, real, real, real challenge to enter in a, in a, in a market in development where internet is something new and, and people uh, don't really understand anything about this new media, no? medium, yeah. and um, and uh, so we had to convince each bus supporter one by one, then educate the consumer, and uh, but right now we are modernizing all the systems of the bus company, and we are recovering their online sales, and they are using our system, which is definitely one of the. the hopefully one, one of the best system to buy bus tickets online in South America. So you were saying it was a challenge to go into a market that is not used to the internet that much yet. What was the biggest challenge on the B2B side with the bus companies or with the customers like buying tickets? I honestly, when, when you start your own business, uh, your first concern is to make your, to build your product. Uh, so then marketing and communication comes after. But you try to launch an MVP, uh, uh, just focusing on your providers or suppliers because uh, these guys are the ones that are giving you your offering for your customers. No? So first we had to sell something before starting to communicate to the consumer. No? And uh, right now we're attacking the, the customer side. Um, and then hopefully and, and successfully our relation with our provider is amazing. And we have learned for three and a half years how to convince them and uh, doing things you might have no idea of. Like? <laughs> Uh, you, no, I don't. I can't count the number of staff I will have show up. Uh, I will have show up uh, in front of some bus company's door without any appointment, trying to beg the secretary to have an appointment with the assistant of the as marketing assistant, to finally end up with the commercial director. No, this takes uh, roughly about three to four months, uh, seven phone calls per week, a lot of gift. Uh, you, I mean, it's ridiculous, no? Yeah. And uh, on your side, uh, you, you cannot give up. So perseverance has been uh, quite uh, the star award. So what was your very big first win when you were like, that's it. Like, I've been struggling for all this month, but there is a reason for it. Your big win. The one well, you, you know, uh, the, when, when, you get, uh, when you start getting a bit of experience in developing startup, you, you don't really have a big win because you know something can happen the next day that's going to crush everything, no? So uh, yeah, I don't want to be that arrogant. This one bus company that came up and you were like, ah, at least they recognize what I'm doing, I'm not doing this for nothing, you know? No, of course, it's when, when we started signing Siva, when we, we covered the online sales of some bus companies, when we won Weira, when, when we won Seedstar, Proof, you know, all these things are great, but the thing is that I've experienced so many Russian mountains that... Uh, uh, it, uh, now it's getting, you're getting quite superstitious and then whenever you start getting euphoric about something you have a, a, a big shit coming over next, the next day. So, uh, yeah, yeah, the, uh, yeah. You don't celebrate too early. Oh yeah, definitely not. Uh, yeah, I don't really celebrate for anything today. So. <laughs> Okay. Maybe if I get an exit strategy and somebody buys this portal a few million dollars then, then yeah. Yeah, that will be a quite success. <laughs> We're so not what, there yet. What's the plan now? You're big. You're getting pretty big in Peru. Uh, you, uh, December is going to be a big month for you right? because that's when everyone is the summer. Everyone goes on holiday. So you're testing whether you're going to have a lot of bookings, right? Uh, that's the thing. We have been testing quite a few months ago the entire system because uh, we grew ourselves one thousand percent. 
because we recovered the online sales or, or, or of one bus company and our sales grew and exploded. And it's really interesting because suddenly you have a, a lot, lot of problems with your customers, with your suppliers that, that you absolutely didn't expect. And uh, I've been working like this month probably from 9 to 3 in the morning every day, including the Sundays when I had customers calling my direct phone uh, because they got charged twice on their credit card. <laughs> <laughs> or they were asking you about what food they uh, were exactly. Or all this crap. <laughs> see, yeah, it's at some point you want to get you get to this day when you yeah. want to tell them, yeah, there are, you can buy some McDonald's on the bus, no? <laughs> Just get out of the bus really, and buy your no, own. No, but uh, it, we 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 did a really good job and we had zero uh, we claims on the, uh, the website compared to all the problems that we had. This, it was quite uh, something challenging, <laughs> honestly. Yeah, yeah. But uh, today it's amazing because we have one of the most uh, a strong uh, system that exists here. We had we put so much alerts. The system of the bus companies here is uh, they are probably what they used to be in Europe 20 years ago or maybe 10 years ago. So we, we had to put a lot of alerts on, on a lot of uh, technical sites, and we know we're ready for the, the big big season in December. And and our sales we grow 500 percent again. So and we're recovering again the online sales from another bus company today. So. We're going to sell between 1.5 and 2.5 million solace in, in December, no? And from December to April, per month. So there is a big trend right now, which is what you call tropicalization. <coughs> so you take a model that works in another market and you implement it in a new market. Unfortunately, that's what most of the people do. I mean, yeah, that's a, I mean, a lot of startups nowadays do that. In fast-growing markets like Peru, Peru is growing 8% per year. The GDP is growing really fast. It's one of the fastest growing economy. And internet is much faster than Brazil. Yeah. And internet penetration is going on right. Um, so obviously those those things make sense. Where was your inspiration? So there was your problem, but then you got inspired, I think, by an Indian company. Could you tell us more about that? I mean, everybody that is in the bus industry system talking about the internet side might know Redbus. Redbus Red is a bunch of guys that started in 2005. Or they had probably between 24 and 26 years old. She's roughly at the, the age that I started myself, right here, 25 and 28 today. And uh, this guy just rocked uh, with their project. It was uh, some kind of bus portal in India. Obviously, the market is not the same. Uh, we're talking about 500 million people, so. But you have a lot of uh, uh, threats with the trains and, and, and the flying industry getting, getting, getting strong there. And uh, those guys have been doing a really good job. They got by, bought out about $200 million, I think. And uh, they, made a, they made a really, really, really profitable startup in four years. And it's everybody's dream to be Redbus one day, no? It's, uh, so you want to become the Redbus of Latin America? It would be great, yeah, why not? <laughs> I think we have a lot of, uh, a lot of people who are trying to, to accomplish that. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's stronger than it seems. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, scaling within India is easier, right? It's kind of a simple, homogeneous market. Yeah, exactly. Now you're trying to scale to Latin America. I mean, the language is the same, but the culture is different, the best companies are different, the people you're talking to are different. How do you go around scaling in Latin America? You have some cultural clusters. I mean, from my part, signing a company in Peru will probably be the same of signing a company in Colombia or Chile. It will be the same. Uh, uh, sales arguments, the, 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 well, they, 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 I shouldn't say that, so I'm not going to say it, but, yeah, uh, yeah you, you might have people that work faster than the others, and so, but uh, we started in, dif in a difficult market. I can definitely say that, uh, where the relational is really important between the people, and South America is, is all about relational, but Peru, e even more than that, I will guess. Brazil might be, might be, might be the same. And uh, so it's definitely more challenging than developing your, your idea in, in one big country, no? But uh, yeah, I mean, with our different strategies and then we are uh, uh, usually uh, adapting ourselves real fast to, to find the right strategy because I really believe a strategy has to be flexible and you need to be able to make a total turn on your strategy from one day to another because mm -hmm. the, the, I mean, this technology is evolving real, really, really, really fast and you need yeah. to to look at the moves of your competitors and I have a few in Mexico and that, that are entering right now the Peruvian market and uh, we need to, to be very forward from, oriented to our resources too which, which are really what important. The internet is there. Exactly. So how do you go around fighting the big guys? With well, a lot, lot of funding. It's what you do when you try to be smart and uh, invest your money in so some... 
yeah, I mean, uh, all I do every day is trying to find the, the different shape myself with my competitors, finding right ideas that they might not have tomorrow because well, you definitely develop your, your startup differently if you have $500 million to invest and then if you have 50000 you know, so. as well. Yes, but I'd rather be on that side, honestly, yeah. because uh, we are really focused on the, the consumer rather than bombarding him with a lot of communication yeah. and we bet a lot on VR marketing and doing crazy stuff on the product sides rather than, than not improving our product and invest a lot, lot in advertising, uh, which we cannot do. And if we start to do this today, it, we think it will be useless because we'll never have enough resources to yeah. compete with those guys on this side. So. so what do you think is, because we see that in all the markets where we go to, those kind of tropicalization, they face a rocket internet or a venture builder type of model. How do they differentiate the most? Do you say customer service? Like, what's the key part where you can differentiate yourself? Where those guys are bad at? No, not, honestly, that, that would be quite arrogant to, to, to bring a solution no, uh, like this. Uh, so we just try to think, and I don't even have a, enough experience myself because right now I don't have any competitors in Peru. I will have some competitors one, two months from now, but uh, they are not here yet. I think about them day and night. I cannot sleep because of them. <laughs> and so... I don't know, I will say, guys, try to differentiate yourself. Uh, the consumer every day, that's what I will do. But uh, one, again, I don't know if it works because uh, I don't know yet.